The intention for today's Mass is for Vincenzo Petruno. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ and with your spirit. My friends, as we gather together today on the feast of the holy name of Mary, let us be better prepared to enter into these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sins and our need for the forgiveness that God alone can give us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs> Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that for all who celebrate the glorious name of the Blessed Virgin Mary, she may obtain your merciful favor through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, as you received Christ Jesus the Lord, walk in him, rooted in him, and built upon him, and established in the faith as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. See to it that no one captivate you with an empty, seductive philosophy, according to the tradition of people, according to the elemental powers of the world, and not according to Christ. For in Christ dwells the whole fullness of the deity bodily, and you share in this fullness in him, who is the head of every principality and power. In him you were also circumcised with the circumcision not administered by hand by stripping off the carnal body with the circumcision of Christ. You were buried with Christ in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the power of God who raised him from the dead. Even you, when you were dead in transgressions and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he brought you to life along with him, having forgiven us all our transgressions, obliterating the bond against us with its legal claims, which was opposed to us he also removed it from our midst, nailing it to the cross. Despoiling the principalities and the powers, he made a public spectacle of them, leading them away in triumph by it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. The Lord 
Lord is compassionate toward all his works. I will extol you, O my God and King. I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. The Lord is compassionate towards all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. Let your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The, the Lord, Lord is compassionate toward all his works. be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus, Jesus departed to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve whom he named apostles, Simon whom he named Peter and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And he came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground. A great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him and healed them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. It seems that every age in history has thought itself to be the greatest and most enlightened of all previous generations. It was true of the ancient Greeks. It's true of our own digitally obsessed age as well. And yet, at the same time, if we look closely, we can see that every technological advance of humanity was accompanied by the seeds of its own destruction, as it were, from, from, from the invention of fire to gunpowder to atomic energy to the internal combustion engine to the whole digital world itself, each one with the seeds of problems for our humanness apart from the things that we can do or the objects that we can use. The problem always remains, what are we as people and who are we as people and what we do with those things for good or for ill? That is the central question that Christ came to address. In the Gospel of St. Luke these days, we're, we're at the beginning of his ministry, and we see him in today's Gospel choosing the 12 apostles, doing that essentially messianic task of reconstituting the 12 tribes of Israel, God's new chosen people in him. But he does it after a night of prayer. He roots himself in prayer in order to give us that example that prayer is to be at the root of everything that his new Israel, the church, will do in the apostles and their successors. And in the first reading, St. Paul lays out in cosmic scope 
what it is that Christ does, that he indeed does not present us with merely the seductive philosophies, as he says, of this world, the things that we can figure out and invent, which very often can be misused, but instead to root ourselves in Christ, who is deity in bodily form, the God made man, God who came not to the inventor of the latest contraption that was going to revolutionize humanity, but God who came to the maiden of Nazareth, Mary. She had the trust in God's power and goodness and purposes to become the mother of the Messiah, who would indeed give us what we need in order to live rightly and justly and to use well the, th the things of the Creator, to give glory to the Creator and to serve and love our neighbor as well. Today is the feast of the name of Mary, the name of Mary Maria, Ave Maria, which is on the lips of so many, from the devout saying the rosary to football fans praying for a Hail Mary pass in the, in the stadium. The name of Mary is on the lips of all because Mary embedded herself in the heart of God whom loved her and whom she loved. Let us pray today that on the feast of the name of Mary, we too will have Mary's name on our lips as we pray to be more deeply embedded in Christ her son who leads us in triumph over anything in our life that is sinful and that leads us away from God himself. Let us pray. St. Paul tells the Colossians today not to be taken in by empty philosophies and to be mindful that it is Christ who brings us the power of God in our lives. Therefore, let us pray that the church may thrive through the gifts of the Holy Spirit, modeling faith for us. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That the, church, that the Lord may bring peace upon the people of every nation, bringing an end to war and conflict. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear. For those who are the victims of both natural disasters and man-made ones as well, and especially for the people of Morocco at this time, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those confined to hospitals or nursing homes may be consoled through the healing presence of Christ. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that all who have died in the light of Christ and whom we pray for in the intentions of our own hearts may be welcomed with joy into heaven. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of today's Mass, for Vincenzo Patruno, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your many gifts. Through the intercession of the holy name of Mary, look with favor upon the prayers we bring you today through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice from your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the intercession of the blessed Mary, ever virgin, commend our offerings, we pray, O Lord, and may it make us acceptable to your majesty as we revere and venerate her name through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the holy name of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising to the setting of the sun, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, 
Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Teresa of Avila, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the vision of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever, amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of the peace of Christ. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May we obtain the grace of your blessing, O Lord, through the intercession of Mary, the mother of God, that from her whose holy name we venerate, we may obtain help in our every need through Christ our Lord, amen. We invite you to remain with us for the devotional prayers after mass. The Lord be with you. Bow down for God's blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you, who have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Jesus, shine.